And the first major topic is evaluate site-specific environmental and social-cultural socio-cultural opportunities. I think if you expect questions like the two that I'm identifying here, you'll be in good shape to do well on the exam. Expect questions that ask you to consider the applicable regulatory requirements and zoning ordinances to determine project constraints. We've talked about this already in the introductory comments, but uh, what are the regulatory requirements? What are the zoning ordinance requirements for any given project? Now, how would you expect to see that in a question on the exam? Well, you're going to be given a set of conditions that are derived from the zoning ordinance, hypothetically, for the project that you're hypothetically considering in the, in the exam. It's going to give you a list of, it's probably going to give you a list of, uh, you know, several different zoning factors uh, that might include uh, floor area ratios or might include setbacks and uh, uh, building uh, use limitations, types of use limitations. You'll be given a set of uh, kind of an abbreviated set of zoning ordinance related items and then you'll have to negotiate the question along with those questions, along with those items. <clears throat> so that to the degree that you're to the degree that you're prepared to do that, I think you'll be successful. And the same thing goes with the regulatory requirements. You will you will need to know the difference between some of the major national regulatory uh, agencies that pertain to building uh, building and building safety. Uh, but you'll be given material related to those in the exam that will help you. Uh, answer the question uh, just because you know the the exam is a generalized exam and so it's going to ask you generalized questions based on principles of how regulatory uh, organizations uh, oversee the construction of buildings and built environment same thing with zoning ordinances or municipal codes expect questions that will ask you to consider the broader impacts of your project on the neighborhood and region well this sounds like a question that you might have gotten asked several times in school. Uh, what are the urban condition context, urban context conditions of your building? What, what, uh, what, what kinds of questions might uh, might you be asked that deal with uh, uh, urban fit or uh, uh, aesthetic? Uh, fittingness with relate re, related to historic preservation or something like that. So you, you can expect questions that are going to ask you questions about the cultural, the social opportunities of a of a given of a given site or of a given uh, project. 